What is up everyone, Clayton here, and today we're back with some more of our Elder Scrolls Online DL3 walkthrough. Oh. Alright, yes you are. Uh, in today's episode, we're con continuing this quest to find a Lady Servant, or Servant, or Cervelli, I don't know how to say words, man. Uh, I'm bad with, like, pronouncing names. An ambassador from Daggerfall was sent to negotiate a trade agreement with the orcs. But the fleet was blown off course and wrecked on the ice. Now Lady Whatever is missing. I must... I... Fuck. I have found the bodyguard. Scordo the knife. Now I need to locate the ambassador. So uh, I have to locate the ambassador. And we are inside the circle right now. Hopefully. Oh, here we go. There's Holbert. And he's with that skeever, Lord Ethian. Let's see what they've got to say. All right. Did you find my dearest Sovel? Sovel. Please tell me she's all right. Her name's Sovel. My wife yet? Please tell me that you know where Sovel is. I, don't, I think I was saying Savant earlier because there was a chick named Savant we met earlier, and I just got the name. I saw an S, so I assumed. I don't actually read things. I just like, oh, that's an S. That's this word. That's not. That's not how that works. But anyways, we haven't we haven't found anything yet. We haven't found shit. Where could she be? And why did she have to stay on the ship? She cares for everyone else, but refuses to safeguard herself. Scordo, you were supposed to protect her. Could the captain or one of the crew have a hand in her disappearance? Impossible. The captain works for my father. She would never harm my wife. Wait, we saw the captain head toward the signal tower. That's where Sovel is. Then I have to go there too. All right. So to the signal tower. He's gonna get himself killed. Go after him. I'm in no condition to keep anyone safe at the moment. Alright, so we have to go protect Lord Ethian. So apparently she's in this tower. Oh, what the hell? Oh, this guy's gonna attack us? Get knocked on your ass, bitch. This might... Yeah, okay. There we go. I don't know if I should have used that there, but... It does damage over time, so that's nice. And it makes sure that he doesn't deal a butt ton of damage to me. Stop healing yourself, you asshole! Oh, no! Execute! 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 Alright. So when they have that swirly, like, halo over their head, it means that they can be power attacked and knocked down. So that's what I was trying to do there. But I did it pretty poorly. Um... On top of the tower. God damn it, Lord Ethian. What are you doing up here? He just ran ahead instead of, like, you know, standing next to the guy that actually can do anything. I can't... What are, the, are those just captain's guards? I can't tell. Single tower apex. Oh, is she dead? Or the Ethian. So well, she's not here, and I think maybe that mage tried to kill me. Well, maybe he was trying to kill you. Tell me the truth. Are you responsible for the ambassador's disappearance? What? How dare you insinuate such a thing? I would never. I'm as at a loss as to where Sovel is as you are. My father promised we would go off course just long enough for Sovel to miss her meeting. She wasn't supposed to be harmed. What was supposed to happen? We were just... It, it was supposed to... The captain has worked for my father for years. My father, you just can't say no to him. He said that the captain would take care of everything. By the gods, what have I done? Sovel will never forgive me. You must have some idea about where it'd look. I truly don't know. It wasn't supposed to happen like this. A terrible storm, all those sailors who died... My father said Captain Henriza would make sure that no one was harmed. We were only supposed to get into port late. I guess let's go downstairs and we'll look for Lady Sovel together. Alright, so... We're just kind of running around in circles here, it seems like. We have not found her. I assume she's dead. There's no way she can be alive still. Out in the cold this long. No one's heard from her. You he figured she would make it to camp or something. Alright. Where's Scorvo? Scordo found something. Alright. What did he find? While you were up in the signal tower, 
Scordo did some scouting, and he thinks he figured out where Captain Henriza disappeared to. He went to see if the ambassador was there as well. Where does Scordo go? Just down the path here. He found what looks to be an old smuggler's bolt hole in the rocks. Scordo sent me back so I could tell you all about it. He's waiting for you over there. Alright, me and Ethan will meet up with him. Alright. back to camp. Check on the survivors. Yeah, I don't know if there's many survivors left because everyone's been killing each other apparently. It's been a whole thing. Whoa, they got a, a veteran level 16. Damn, they must be good at video games. Anyways, what's up, Scordo? See that cave? That's an old smuggler's hole. I'd bet my last gold piece that Captain Henriza is in there. Maybe even the ambassador. What's so special about the cave? Nothing really. Just a gut feeling. I learned a long time ago not to ignore my gut in situations like this. Besides, I saw one of Henriza's lackeys sneak in there trying to be all stealthy. I'm sure that's where Lady Sobel is. Alright, uh, but do you think the captain can be reasoned with, or are we going to have to kill her? Why would you want to reason with someone like that? Do you reason with an angry Wamasu when it's trying to eat your face? No, you... Oh, overdone. What's that fool easy enough to now? I guess I better go look. I know you're in there, Henriza. Where's my wife? Run back to your father, you pathetic little man. Free my wife at once, you villain. I'm going to do your father a favor. Oh, she he has got stabbed. She stabbed me! Okay. <laughs> I like how it says, hint, kill the captain. It's like, no shit. Alright. High King Emmerich will hear of this, you... You blackguard. I knew you were nothing but a filthy orc lover. I should have gutted you the moment you entered our camp. Alright, so it looks like the, the Bretons... Oh, shit. The Bretons and the... Am I getting, like, tethered? Can I get rid of this? How do I get rid of that tether? I, I think I did now. I think I'm gonna die here. I don't have the health right now. Yeah, I'm gonna die. Can I break out of this, please? Um, hmm. Yeah, okay. I was gonna say, I'm gonna die. I, I, I've never seen that. That's an ultimate that a Nightblade has. I've never seen anyone of an NPC use it. So I was kind of caught off guard that I didn't know how to get away from that tether. If I can't get away from the tether, I guess I get straight up fighter. But, uh, oh well. Shit happens. I died. Uh, I don't know why. I, either I'm bad at this game, or my character is not very strong. Because I've been having trouble always killing, like, world bosses and shit. <clears throat> and I, they also spawn me in, like, the worst place ever now. What a bunch of assholes. Uh, but what I was saying earlier was that it seems like every covenant or pact or alt Mary dominion in this game. So, what am I trying to say? The alt Mary dominion the Ebonheart Pack, and the Daggerfall Covenant... They all seem to have a, a race in their group that the other ones are racist to, I guess you could just say. For, like, the Ulmer Dominion, the High Elves kind of look down on everyone. They kind of think everyone is lower than them. Am I stuck? Can I go this way? There we go. Um, so, like, there's, like, a whole subclass, or, like, it's called the Veiled Heritance. That they hate the Khajiits, they hate the Wood Elves, and they they hate the Pack or the Dominion because they don't really want to work with them. Um, and there's also it seems like in the uh, Daggerfall Covenant, it looks like the Bretons and some of the Red Guards dislike the Orcs and kind of give them the same treatment as uh, you know the Khajiits have. The Khajiits kind of look down upon. It'd probably be the same as and the Evanheart Pack. The Argonians look are looked down upon, uh, because well they're Argonian, and they're I slaves. All right, block this. You the nice. You All right. Okay, break out of that. All right, power through this block. Knock her down. I'm gonna ult now. Okay, I don't know if the, how this works. I don't know how this works. So I'm just gonna stand in it. Alright, knock her down. 
can I not kill this bitch? Oh god. Can I break out of this, please? Knock her down, please. I'm gonna die again? I am, what the fuck? <laughs> I don't know what to do here. I'm gonna spawn clear over there. Alright. Boy, I'll save you guys the trip. I'll just walk over here. Alright, so let's try this again. Break out of that, please. Alright. Steal her health. Maybe. No. Alright, use her potion. Alright. Take her to the ground. Alright. Put the shield back on. Alright, knock her to the ground again. Oh, we have someone here. We're saved. There. We did it. We finally did it. Right, I died like three times. All my armor is broken. <laughs> so it kind of sucks. If you could untie me, I would greatly appreciate it. And would you know if my husband is safe? He's Lord Ethian, and I made sure he got off the wrecked ship with a few of the crew and passengers. Uh, I'm sorry, but uh, he got stabbed by the captain when he was trying to rescue you. Ethian? My husband? Tried to stand up to Captain Henriza. I, I never expected him to do such a thing. Ugh. Why didn't he stay with the rescue crew? He was never good in a crisis. Tell me, how bad was he injured? I'm not sure, but Scordo was with him. This is all Ethian's father's fault. What a vile man his father is. Ethian never could say no to him. And Ryza was eager to tell me all about it after she captured me. If Ethian dies because of this, I'll find a way to make his father pay. Alright, well, I'll untie you so you can go talk to him, I guess. Alright, so now we have to go talk to Lady Savella outside. I should go see you should, because he's probably dead. Because the captain apparently stabs pretty good, because she stabbed us a shit ton of times. Is, oh, is he dead? My poor Ethian. He wasn't a brave man, but he tried to stand up against that vile Henriza. Your husband wanted to make sure you were safe. He did, didn't he? Thank you. Now, I have a job to do. I'll mourn Ethian after I have fulfilled my obligation to High King Emmerich. I'll send Scordo ahead to Orsinium to let them know we are on our way. Perhaps we'll see you there. Perhaps. The orcs will negotiate with me. There's still time to salvage my mission and make sure Ethian's father lives to regret what he set in motion. But thank you. Without your timely assistance, more innocence would have been... Is there anything else I can do? No, my friend. You've done more than enough. The rest is up to Scordo and me. I knew Baron Matir was a despicable man, but to force his son into this treasonous scheme? I never could quite free Ethian from his father's influence, though. Ethian was very worried about you. It's obvious he loved you. Is it? Ours was an arranged marriage. I suspect that when his father learned of my true political feelings, he was extremely disappointed. Still, Ethian had a good heart, and we got along well. At least we did when his father wasn't interfering. Alright, well that's enough for me. <laughs> so, we got a blade. I need to focus we can check... We can check this out. The luxury of regret. Scordo, oh, that's a thousand damage. As as um, so yeah, I guess I'll use this now. Um, off my offhand backup. We'll use, uh, this. There we go. But yeah, as you can see there, all my stuff is broken. Like, all my stuff is broken. Um, but yeah, I guess we can head out and, uh, explore a little bit more this episode, and then call it good after this, uh, because man, I got, I got fucked up by, uh, that lady quite hard. I had to change my skill bar a little bit, let me skill, change that back real quick before I forget.
All right, so where to now? Where to now? I think we can go straight south of here. Straight south of here is, I think, I said there's a stronghold over here, so I think maybe I can repair my stuff over here. That's the plan. Hopefully? Yeah, okay. We're heading in the right direction. Uh, we don't really have any quests on the north side of the map. I think we have one from here. There is a location right there, but the quest is clear down here, so we can't actually do anything with it. So, we'll just head this way and see if there's any quests um, by Orsinium. But uh, yeah, the top part of the map is done now. Yeah, so there's a stronghold over here. Uh, hopefully, there's not fighting at the main gate, because we kind of need um, some place to fix our stuff. Because uh, all of our armor is broken, so I would like to be able to fix my shit. Alright. More crawl stronghold discovered. Is this a zoom-in place? It is. All right. So this is a. Uh, is, I think I'm lagging. Maybe there we go. So there's a stable master, um, wood worker, blacksmith, clother. We got kind of all we need here, and there seems to be a bunch of quests here. Um. Oh shit! This place is kind of small. Greetings. I didn't realize that. Um. Okay. No, these are all. Uh, um. What's it called? guild traders. So if you're part of a guild um, and you have enough people in it, I think it is, you can actually come here and buy and sell items from their guild. Alright, so let's uh, repair all our stuff. There we go. And then we can sell that. We'll just sell some stuff we don't need. Oh, we got some recipes we can uh, learn about. Sell those. So those, is there any Bandit Companions? No. Blue Primer. We might use that. I don't know what our rings have right now. Actually, let's look at the rings real quick. Why are we, is there a reason we're not using that ring? Uh. Um, weapon damage and physical resistance and max of 640. Uh, I kind of like the resistance at the moment. Um, but yeah, I guess we can just get all the quests we can here. Can here. Never have what? The king insisted on a mortal daughter for his forge wife. But then he decided to pass over my eldest. Now Ashika wants to prove him a fool for marrying her little sister. So, wait, what do you mean? Malaketh alone knows why Ashika ran off. Wounded pride sent her to Morkel descent, no doubt. Idiot. The girl will end up as Ogre Dunn or a spider hatch. Well, I guess I'll head there to go find Ashka, whatever the fuck her name is. Running off to Morkel descent is why Ashika's still unwed. Finding glory in old relics instead of at the king's side. He'd have chosen her if she wasn't so headstrong. Okay. So where is this quest going from? Where do we have to go for this quest? Clear down here. Why does everyone... No, wait. No, that's not right. Down here? Down here. Where is this quest from? Oh, right here. Okay, so I guess this is backwards. So we can go there. But there's other quests around, I thought. Yeah, there's like three more. We'll always, co we'll always collect all these, and then we'll have a surplus of stuff to do in the next one. I didn't figure there'd be freaking three quests inside of this little tiny town. Parkour. There we go. Rigu the Brash. Rigurt or Rigurt. Like to speak words. Most excellent greetings. I am Rigurt. They call me the Brash. But you can call me Ambassador. The Ebonheart Pact sent me to extend a piece of branch. No, wait. A branch of peace to glorious, brave, and beautiful orcish people. That's an elegant way to describe orcs. See to the depths of Rigard's heart, riddled as it is to overflowing with Freyla's pointy arrows of affection. <laughs> if only Rigard knew how to express such feelings to the lovely Ambassador Lazbutha. Yeah, so is there some way I can help you with this? Really? You would help? You are too kind. The 
ambassador's aid Rulful has said I need to collect delicious orcish delicacies, but I can't leave the clan hold. If you could find these things, I can prepare a romantic meal and win Lazdurta's love. All right, well, I'll, I'll try to find what you need. Trade these Nord delicacies for the finest ale and cheese in Rothgar. Rigert and his jade princess will feast until we are too full to escape our hmm. love. And find out what poems or perfumes are used in orc wooing rituals. Rigert might know. <laughs> okay. Who is this? Wait, what is this quest? Is this the one I just got? Oh, we can ask her about the items. I guess we can do that right now since she's here. Ah, uh, the handsome Rigert has chosen you to be his champion. I approve. What a rare and prestigious honor to be selected to participate in the sacred rites of orc love. So tell me, what would you like to do? Can you tell me about the items he wants me to collect? Of course. Any friend of Rigert's is a friend of mine. The ambassador has been very curious about seductive orcish delicacies, which is the best way to win an orc's heart. But I must warn you, some of these items will be difficult to acquire. So, what kind of foods do they want, I guess? No orc woman can resist the cheese of the mighty Achater. Its milk can peel the paint from a wall, but its cheese tastes like sunshine on a cloudy day. It's perfect for a romantic meal. A cheesemonger to the north makes the best. It's my favorite. Alright, what about, uh... Of course, the drinks. Any friend of Rigert, orcs love ale. Any kind of ale. But the ale that's most likely to put an orc maiden in a romantic mood is made by a reclusive brewer in southern Rothgar. I love the stuff. Perhaps Lumgro Boosby will trade his ale for the rare mead Rigert gave Alright, what about the... Of course. Any friend of Rigert's is a friend What about any other ways? The ambassador has been very curious. Some orcs have a fondness for foreign culture. We don't have any love poems, but I enjoy the sonnets of the Redguard poet Borisad. He's visiting Rothgar now. And I noticed that Rigert thinks Huntwife Yatsog smells good. See what perfume she uses. Okay, so we have like 40 different things we have to do now. Is it all over the map now? Yeah, yeah, it's everywhere. Good thing we got all these places done in order. They're just ruining everything. I had a, a order of how things go, and now they've ruined it. I'm not taking the stairs. I'm taking the wooden way up. All right, so there's one more quest, Hello. and then we'll we'll call it good for this episode. But now we have like 17 quests we can do. This is gonna be a pain, I think. Is he in here? Maybe. Yes. Okay. What's up, dude? Oh, he's a daily job guy. Oh, I don't want to talk to him. So we have a daily jo job guy, and then we have bungee quest. All right, so this seems to like to be the city. Um, so yeah, we have a lot of things to do. We have to go here. We have to go up here. We can go here. Um, I think we'll just go backwards and get these quests done, and run up and grab all that stuff. And then go back south, I guess. Because we have a lot of stuff to do. And, uh, yeah, but it's only the south part of the map, so that's that's nice. Uh, but, yeah. Oh, wait, there's another quest on here? You serious? What's up, Dronar? Nobody understand true. You would think the great artisans of Morkel might appreciate a fellow artist. You would what do you mean? I'm studying an eminently misunderstood collection of artists native to Rothgar. But how am I to complete my provocative companion artwork without the appropriate... You're materials? studying the art of the Morkor clan? What? No, oh, no. The ogres. Their visual arrangement, indiscernible textures, the smells. Oh, the smells. Ogres have long realized art should stimulate every sense. I don't suppose you'd care to help me acquire the necessarily redolent material. Uh, what do you need? There's an ogre den in a nearby cave called Morkel Descent. Grab anything ogre created which has a natural look, feel, or smell. Bring it all to the House of Awesome Glories, and I'll assemble my arm. All right. So is that the same location? Yeah, so we have two there. And I guess we'll do that. Man, we have a lot to do. Um... 
But yeah, next episode we'll do all these quests that we uh, in the lands that we've already completed, and then if you have time, we will sneak our way down south. But uh, I don't really think we will get time. But uh, hopefully we can get through everything pretty soon. Uh, but anything, anyways, thank you guys so much for watching, and it's Clayton signing out.